go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello, Chickpea. Hello, Trickle. Hi, Stomp and Chip. Hi, Lennon. Hi, Scott. Hello, Jangle. It's very windy today, Chickpea. Yes, let's wrap up warmly and go outside and play. <laughs> Spring, summer, autumn and winter, these are all the seasons. Spring, summer, autumn and winter, these are all the seasons. Watch daffodils spring. is called Lennon's Clothes. It was a very cold morning and Chickpea's world was covered in a blanket of snow. Lennon was so excited, he couldn't wait to go outside and play, but he couldn't find his woolly blue hat, scarf or gloves to keep him warm. I'll go and ask the others if they've seen them, said Lennon. So off he went to the kitchen where Scoff was enjoying a warm drink. Scoff, have you seen my woolly blue hat? Yes, here it is, said Scoff, pointing at the teapot. It's been very handy for keeping the water warm. 
How strange, Lennon thought. A hat on a teapot. But he thanked Scoff, took his hat and off he went. Next, Lennon found Chickpea relaxing on the sofa in the living room. Hi, Lennon, she said. Hey, Chickpea, have you seen my woolly blue gloves anywhere? Oh, do you mean these? asked Chickpea, looking down at her feet, wriggling her toes. Lennon couldn't believe his eyes. Why are my lovely gloves on your smelly feet? he said. I haven't got smelly feet, replied Chickpea. My feet were cold and the gloves are keeping them warm. Well, that's the silliest thing I've heard all day, said Lennon. So Lennon had found his hat and gloves. But where could his scarf be? Suddenly, he heard a loud noise coming from upstairs. Ah, The noise was coming from Stomp's bedroom. Lennon climbed the stairs. Oh, Lennon, I feel terrible, said Stomp. I can't stop sneezing. Poor Stomp, thought Lennon. And then he noticed that there was something strange wrapped around Stomp's trunk. Stomp, he asked, why have you got a blue trunk? Well, I found this very nice scarf, so I wrapped it around my trunk to keep it warm, he said. I must say it's doing a great job. Lennon was just about to say that it was his scarf when he thought perhaps Stomp needed the scarf more than him. I'm glad the scarf is helping, Stomp, he said. I'll go and make you a nice cup of lemon and honey. The water in the teapot is lovely and warm. On his way back downstairs, Lennon chuckled to himself whilst thinking about how useful his winter clothes had been to all his friends. <laughs> the weather today is perfect for drying clothes on the washing line, warm and breezy. Jangle's busy hanging socks on the line. There's a small sock. And a big sock. This one. Yes, you're right. The pink sock is the smallest. Well done, everyone. We've had fun today. See you for more adventures with Chippy and her friends next time. Sure. Hi, Lily. Hi, Scoff. <laughs>
Hello, Jandal. You're right, Chickpea. It's a beautiful sunny day today. You're going to the beach? Oh, can we come too? Today's story is called Rain or Shine. Jangle was in the kitchen. She was very thirsty after playing in the park all morning and wanted a cup of cold milk. She opened the fridge door and reached for the milk bottle. But there wasn't a drop left. Oh well, she said, I'll have to go for a walk to the shop and buy some more. It was a lovely sunny day, so Jangle put on her sunglasses and summer hat. But as soon as she left the house, the sun disappeared behind a big black cloud. Oh no, where did that come from? Jangle wondered. Suddenly, it started to rain. Jangle hurried back into the house and swapped the hat and sunglasses for her raincoat and boots. I'm ready for any weather, she thought to herself, come rain or shine. Jangle set off for the shop for the second time that day, when suddenly the rain stopped and... 
An enormous gust of wind almost knocked her to the ground. Jangle started to shiver. Oh dear, I'm cold now, she said. I'd better go and get my woolly hat to keep my ears warm. So once again, Jangle stomped back to the house, took off her raincoat and boots and pulled her woolly hat over her ears. But as soon as she stepped back outside, she noticed that the weather had changed again. The wind had stopped, the sun was shining and Jangle started to feel very hot in her woolly hat. She was tired of this strange weather. Sun, rain, wind, and now sun again. What is going on? Just then, she heard a familiar voice. Jungle, why are you wearing a woolly winter hat? It was Chickpea. She was on her way back from town with the others. It's summer. Where's your sun hat? asked Scoff. Oh, replied Jungle, fed up. It's been spring, summer, autumn and winter today. I've had enough of this silly weather. All I wanted to do was go for a walk to the shop to get some milk, said Stomp. Yes, how do you know? Scoff used up all the milk on his porridge this morning, so we've been to the shop to get some more. Jangle smiled and thanked her friends. She forgot all about the weather until... She felt a drop of rain once again on her nose. Quick, shouted Chirp. Everyone inside, it's starting to rain. <laughs> All the animals looked at each other and laughed before running towards the house. It's almost time for the animals to go home. But first, they want to send their friends a postcard. Can you guess what the picture on the postcard is? See you for more fun with Chippy and Friends next time. Splish, splash.